Good morning. Good morning. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Christmas Day, December 25th, 2022, worship service for Prosser United Methodist Church. A couple of announcements uh, for today, and that is one uh, is, again, we have the joys and concerns, um, slips of paper that if you have a joy or a concern you'd like to share, um, please fill that out. I will ask for them at the time for joys and concerns. And if those online have joys or concerns and you would like them shared, uh, please do um, send them into the church office at our, uh, from our website or on our email and uh, uh, we will lift those up in prayer. Also, I will be gone. I am taking renewal leave as of this afternoon after we get this uh, service posted and I will be uh, on leave until the end of January, the 1st of February, I'll be back. At, during that time, you will all get to have um, five different pastors preaching uh, during those five Sundays. And uh, that'll be an interesting experience, I'm sure, for, for us to have. Our worship leader this morning is Marge Ray, and she will lead us, if you will stand, in the call to worship that is printed in the bulletin. A child has been born for us. A, A son, son given, given to, to us. us. Authority rests upon his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, Counselor, Mighty God, God Everlasting, Everlasting Father, Father Prince, Prince of Peace. Of Peace. And if you would join me in the opening prayer. O oh God, our Father, our Father you, you have brought us again to the glad season where when we celebrate, celebrate the birth of your, your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Grant that, that his Spirit may be born anew in our hearts, hearts this, day, this day, and, and that, that we may joyfully, joyfully welcome him to reign, reign over, over us. us. Open, Open our, our ears that, that we, we may hear again the angelic chorus of old. old. Open, Open our, our lips that, that we too may sing with, with uplifted hearts. hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace goodwill, goodwill towards for all. Through, through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. And now the Hebrew scripture. Uh, the... Uh, Revised Standard Version, Isaiah 52, uh, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good tidings, who publishes peace, who brings good tidings of good, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Hark ye, watchmen, lift up your, their voice. Together they sing for joy. For eye to eye they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted, com comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. He has barred his holy arm before the eyes of the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. And now the gospel reading, John John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came bear, to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world made, was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came into his own home, and his own people received him not. But all who received him, who believed in his name, he, became pow he gave power to become children of God. 
who were born not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as to the only Son from the Father. Thank you. Will you join me for a moment of prayer? May the words of my mouth and the meditations upon each of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. When I think back on my childhood and think about joy, one of the first things that pops up is Christmas Eve. We got to uh, open presents. In our family, the tradition was we opened presents on Christmas Eve, and we also had gifts from Santa on Christmas Day. Um, but first, on Christmas Eve, we had to go to church and go to the church Christmas Eve service, which actually I liked, um, and uh, uh, didn't, that didn't bother me at all. We had to go. That was kind of exciting because that was sort of the, the thing right before getting to go to the, uh, have the presents. And, uh, and then also we got to, as we were in the ch children's choir, we got to sing usually at the Christmas Eve service. But coming home, Oh, there was anticipation, and I've shared with you before, I think, this whole thing, that my parents loved to go drive around and look at the lights on houses and take the long way home. And us boys were sitting in the back seat, just writhing in agony of the anticipation of getting home and, oh no, don't turn right here, don't turn right, oh, they turned right, okay. So we're gonna look at some more Christmas lights. But then the joy, finally, of getting home and, and uh, getting to open presents. It's interesting that uh, some, in some ways our sense of joy changes as we get older. Uh, now I'm the one that likes to go drive around and look at Christmas lights. Um, and that's one of my greatest joys on Christmas Eve. It's not the presents so much anymore. It's that going around and because it reminds me of that time as a child uh, and of our Christmases together as a family. Joy comes to have maybe a more complex meaning for us as we get to be adults because there are some more complex things that happen in our lives as adults too. I think one of the things that can be one of the greatest joys uh, for us as adults is the birth of a child, one of our children, any of our children. And that also is a very complex kind of joy because it involves pain, it involves waiting, it involves a lot of work uh, afterwards, <laughs> uh, pretty much a lifetime of work afterwards uh, with, the, with the children. But the joy is a deep, deep, fulfilling kind of joy. We hear about joy in these stories. Um, and in fact, in the Christmas stories, it's interesting. We hear about two emotions, fear and joy. We hear about fear when the angels appear and they say to several people several times, do not be afraid. An angel appears to Joseph in a dream in Matthew and says, do not be afraid to marry Mary. An angel appears to Zechariah in the temple. Says, do not be afraid. It's the first thing they say. The angel appears to the shepherds. Do not be afraid. An angel appears to Mary to announce that she's going to give birth to the Messiah. And he says, the first thing he says is do not be afraid. Fear is a part of our lives, and we're very much aware of that. John was aware of that. It talks about, in John's prologue there, the darkness and the light coming into the darkness. Jesus is that light that comes into the darkness, that came into the darkness of our world. The darkness of leaders, 
uh, who, of countries, strong countries, who want to go and take over other countries. The darkness of people who are taking advantage of the poor and the weak. The darkness of our fears that go with us throughout our lives. Be not afraid. And then there's joy. There's joy in all of these stories too. The baby in Elizabeth's womb and Elizabeth's heart leap for joy when Mary goes to tell Elizabeth about the visit from the angel. The shepherds, when they have heard what the angels have said, gone and seen Jesus and Mary and Joseph in the stable, are filled with joy as they return back to their fields. God's entering into our world on Christmas Day through Jesus brings joy into the darkness, brings joy into our fear. It's that complex, full, deep joy of relationship with God that we can enter into if we heed the warning to not be afraid. So be not afraid this Christmas season. But instead, look upon the baby in the manger, in the stable, and go home rejoicing, back to your fields, back to where you live, back to where you work, back to your lives, your families, your friends, carrying the joy that comes each Christmas. So the Holy Bible says Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ Was born on Christmas Day Hark now hear the angels say New of Christmas Day While shepherds watched their flocks by night they saw a brand new shining star and heard a choir from heaven sing the music was from afar. Hark now, hear the angels sing, new king born today, and man will live forevermore because
words of Christmas Day. Now Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They found no place to bear her child, not a single room was in sight. By and by they found a little nook in a stable all forlorn. And in a manger dark and cold, Mary's little boy child was born. Trumpets sound and angels sing. Listen to what they say. For men will Because of Christmas Day. Thank you, Reva. I invite you now to stand uh, and turn to number 880 in our red hymnals. And let's join together in the Nicene Creed. Uh, before we do that, I, I want to note that we have something that after the creed that we has been added in, um, probably back in, but it's been probably a long time. I know we haven't sung the Gloria Patri, as I call it. It's not actually named that in the, in the hymnal. But uh, uh, we haven't sung it since I've been here. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we heard in the Psalms uh, class, uh, uh, Bible study class, was about singing praise to God and uh, doing that on a regular basis. And I thought, you know, we do sing songs that are praise kinds of songs uh, uh, to God during, the, during our worship service, but the Gloria Patri really is sort of a uh, traditional sort of praise uh, to God. And so I've reintroduced that back into our worship service uh, following our creed. Let's join together in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried again. On the third day, he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, we believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
And now on to number 70 in the Red Hymnal. Join me in prayer. Eternal God, we come before you as your people in prayer, and we share with you the joys and the concerns that are upon our hearts in this moment of silence. Loving and gracious God, we give you thanks for this day, the day in which we celebrate the birth of your son in Bethlehem. Help us to take that birth into our hearts, the joy of that time, of that experience, each and every year. Help us to share your love that you have shared with us, with others. Lord, we give you thanks for the many blessings you give to us in this life. The gift of life itself, of friends and family, co-workers, neighbors, people in our communities whose work makes our lives better. We give you thanks for those leaders in our communities, in our states, in our countries, that are working to make lives better for all people, to bring your peace into your world. We pray for the people who are struggling because of the cold in our country and around the world these, these days. We pray for those who do not have homes and are outdoors in this time. We pray for those who do not have enough food to eat or water to drink. Those who are recovering from natural disasters such as hurricanes and floods and fires, earthquakes, volcanoes. Lord, help us to reach out to them and to all who are in need. Help us to make their lives a little bit better. Lord, we pray for your church all celebrating the birth of your son this day. Help us to be renewed in our joy, in our faith, in our love, in your energy for us. Help us to let go of the darkness, of the fear, 
that builds within us in our world. And live as your people each day of our lives. We pray this in the name of the child who grew up and taught us this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to turn to page 15 in your hymnals, the red hymnals. And there you will find the liturgy for the communion service. You will not have all of the same words that I will be using, but the introductions I have for your parts, which are in boldface print, <coughs> will be the same or slimmer, similar uh, to uh, what you have written in there. As always, you do not need to be a uh, member of the United Methodist Church to take communion. Simply come forward to the uh, front um, where I will give you a piece of bread and Marge will have the cup for you to dip into. You may kneel at the altar rail if you would like or simply return to your seats. Those online, if you have not gotten some uh, bread or a drink, uh, go ahead and pause the video at this time and uh, get those uh, ready for our service here. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy God, with a heart bursting with love and with arms open wide, you created the universe. You spun stars into space, hung moons in nighttime skies, and filled the earth with wonder and beauty. Holy God, with a heart aching with love for your creation, you sent us Jesus. He was heralded by Mary's song of compassion. Born in a stable, welcomed by doves and donkeys, poor shepherds and foreign travelers. He ate with sinners, praised the widow's might, healed the sick, befriended the lost and oppressed, confounded the scholars and teachers. He lived in obedience to your word and revealed the depths of your love. Therefore, with all the joy of children on Christmas, and the heavenly chorus of angels, we praise you and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and light, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. On the night of betrayal, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it and gave it to his friends. This is my body broken for you. Take, eat, and remember me. Jesus also took the cup, gave a prayer of thanks, gave it to his friends. 
This is my life poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. This is a new covenant I make with you. Take, drink, and remember me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves as bread broken and joy overflowing as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and online and on these gifts of bread and the cup. Make them be for us the life of Christ that we may be living bread and holy love for the world. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, one with the poor and forgotten, one with all creation, joyfully living and dancing the abundant feast which is now and at the final banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church, all honor and glory is yours, awesome God, loving Creator, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Invite those at home to go ahead and take their bread and drink. And now go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to what is good. Repay no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve our God in all that you do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, yeah, yeah.